the fear of what would happen if you're not ready in the five minutes is just terrifying. You need a small short. I think it's the seventh, the eighth. I, honestly, I couldn't tell you. Like this whole beginning process has been so hectic. It's like the shock and awe is like no joke. So I see the two words, shock and awe, Air Force boot camp. What do I do? Immediate click. Let's take a gander. What are we doing first, right? What are we doing first? You're dropping your bags down. Right. We're we'll putting on our OCP jackets and we're zipping them all the way up. Making sure it goes all the way to the neck and then the side. I'm no longer Chris Conley. I am now trainee Umri Conley reporting okay. for duty. Reports for duty. Eh. <laughs> and you do not get your own opinion. You no. do not have a second say. Pay attention to what they say, and things will go smoothly. Go to your reports. So using the two words shock and awe, maybe a little bit of poetic license, maybe they over-exaggerated a tad bit, kind of reminded me of a summer football camp, so I'm waiting to see where shit gets real in this video. Stand by. Try to get it. Uh, it's been a good few days, um, pretty uh, fast pace, 100 mile an hour. The day kind of, I don't know, time passes a little different down here. Yeah, um, get up. I'll check my watch morning. and I'll be like, well, it's 11 in the morning and <laughs> I feel like it's about Just time woke for up. bed. Um, you don't really realize how much uh, just like mental stress can wear you out or using wow. your using your mind all the time. I think that's a big thing. Um, I haven't really had a chance to miss my family, honestly, and that's probably a right. good thing, but right. I haven't had a chance to think about things I usually think of. First off, I applaud the BCGs. For those who don't know, birth control glasses, you'll never hook up in them. Now I'm sitting here thinking, after seeing the two words shock and awe, I'm like, wow, how much did the Air Force have to pay these guys? Because they look like they're POWs, but it doesn't look like it's too strenuous. Now, hear me out for a second. Maybe this group's a tad softer. Maybe they're good actors, but I'm trying. They're pretty intense, right? They look like this is the shit. I'm about to kick a door in Fallujah. Shock and awe, right? This is really getting legit. Let's go. Hurry up. Maybe if you were to stay where you was the first time, oh. you wouldn't be having this issue. <laughs> first two, take a knee. Let's go. First two, back up. First take two, a knee, down. ladies. First two, back up. We're gonna play this game all night. You need to move in a situation. Get up. First two down. Right. First two back up. First two down. Anytime you be given a set of instructions, you're gonna reply with proceeding, sir, or proceeding man. Now I got a question for you. Why would someone bring a suitcase to boot camp? This is a pretty new video. Came out from the Air Force recruiting page. I'm trying to wrap my arms around it. Are things getting better? We got the best and the brightest, right? These kids come in with more information than ever. But what I am noticing across the board, people tend to move kind of slow. They're bewildered. They act like they've never been told what to do before. Guys like, man, this is mentally taxing on me. In boot camp, it's not a lot of mental taxing parts, you know. Maybe sometimes on the quarter deck when the bends are thrust a little bit too much, you feel worn out. But I'm not seeing it here. I'm waiting for the shock and awe part. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. So if I tell you first to down, you can say proceeding, sir. If I say first you back up, you can say proceeding, sir. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. When we wake up in the morning, you're not woken up by Reveille yet. Um, I'm currently woken up every single day by a female MTI screaming, get up, get up, hurry up, move, get up. You have five minutes to get ready, then you have to be out here. And of course, you, you do exactly that because the fear of what would happen if you're not ready in the five minutes is just terrifying i'm beginning to think the air force scripted this for these recruits because there's no way they can come up with this they can't really feel this way now i get it most of them haven't had to get up on time do normal adult shit but the fear the terrifying the shock and awe maybe i'm not seeing it you know, take a look at the full video in the description. You guys can tell me where I'm missing it. I'm trying to see how this is terrifying. More importantly, how do they got to the two words shock and awe for this boot camp? Oh, buddy, tell you better security into some type of bun. Right. You will not leave without your hair being properly done because you are getting your uniforms today, which means wow. your hair will be in regulation before death. you even put that uniform on. 
never gonna move slow. It does not exist here. That is an intangible object, understood? Yes, sir. First two up. They're using big words in the Air Force, intangible object. You try that shit in Marine Corps boot camps, recruits say drill instructor, Sergeant Smith, I like Tang. Is that what you mean? Get her moving, boys. <laughs> Come on. You better have an ID card in your black pouch. Oh, oh, sorry, officer. Oh, away. Spoiler. Really? Really? Were you told to empty out your wallet? Sir, my area is I'm going to be honest here. I never had female instructors of any type, but if I did have them, I wouldn't feel threatened. There would be no shock and all, that's for sure. kind of feel like it's grating on my nerves. I guess that makes me sexist. It just doesn't seem to work for me. I'm just finding her to be annoying. And all of that, follow instructions. And I came in with the mindset to not, to be able to not worry about it. And then they forced me to call her and listen to her cry. Forced it, you. In a second here, you were gonna call your family members. You were gonna stick to the script. Is that understood? Yes, sir. I'm gonna call bullshit on this one. I don't think anybody forced him to call. He could have hit the numbers and be like, ah, no one answered. Move on to your next post. You know, it seems pretty scripted. The shock and awe part definitely was a tad bit of an over exaggeration. Recruits do seem bewildered, but I don't know if it's just this set of recruits or people this saw. That's the question for you. Is this the normal pool of recruits that would be? This shocked by Air Force boot camp. I'm, I'm wondering here. Help me out. Sir, training Garcia reports his order. Officer. Sir, sir, my area is prepared for inspection. Let's talk. Let's go. <laughs> sir, training Garcia reports his order. Sir, my area is prepared for inspection. Great. Sound off, Ma'am, training Lawler reports is ordered. Ma'am, my area is prepared for inspection. Wow, she's a big and how huh? that instructor. She's. Just about all chunky every which way to Sunday. Now, nothing tops the Navy boot camp. Check in the description. Those guys were all portly fat asses. She just looks like she's 30 pounds overweight. And I guess that's the new military we got here. Watch, put in your tray, unless you want to keep it in your Get it on, or... son. Makeup goes back in your sleeve luggage. Hair products. Wait a second, wait a second. Makeup goes back in. What, why, why do you need makeup at boot camp? You know, maybe when you graduate, you want to do something to your face. But do you need makeup? Is that something important? Is that something extra that the recruits need to manage? Is it worth having? Just let me know. Seems like a complete waste of time. I don't get it. Maybe I'm stupid. Help me out. When to shower, uh, when to eat, how to eat, what to eat. It's a strange sensation. Yeah. I thought it was discipline before, but... Maybe I just had like a loose idea of what discipline was. Little self-reflection. It's always important. So this guy says, I thought I was disciplined before. Now you're going to boot camp, so you know they're going to tell you what to do. You watch the videos. There's thousands of them. And you get there and you go, yeah, I thought I was locked the F on, right? And now I learned I'm not. I'm, maybe the expectation reality is a little different. Trying to figure out what's going on. Any of you guys out there recently in Air Force boot camp, is this a normal depiction of these recruits staged the shock and awe part and they kind of coach them through making it seem like it's a big deal because you hear them talk and you're like wow this is legit then you see the actual footage and you're like well it seems to me like the ultralight version of high school football camp but, you know i could be off and thanks for watching